Welcome to the Leatherwood Bespoke Rosin Workshop. Now I'm going to show you how to clean your bow hair really thoroughly using acetone. Acetone is probably most known as the chemical used in nail polish remover. And the reason why it's great for dissolving rosin off your bow is that pine resin just dissolves instantly into acetone. So it actually can remove all of the rosin from your bow, leaving no residual. Of course, um, you know, there's uh, concerns about using chemicals and getting those chemicals onto the hair and onto the varnish. Um, the varnish on bows most commonly is a uh, spirit based varnish, so it's a shellac, and acetone does not dissolve shellac. Um, I've consulted with a few renowned bow makers over this, and the consensus between those few people is that yes, absolutely, acetone is fine, and in fact, they use acetone to clean. Um, you know, the rosin gunk, I guess, that gets onto the, onto the stick when they're doing bow rehairs. So acetone is fine for the bow. You definitely don't want to get acetone onto the uh, varnish of your instrument because it will eat through that varnish. Um, so I've got a, quite an expensive bow here. This is a modern bow from a great modern maker and I'm using this very good bow here today to show you how safe it actually is. Uh, just to show you that there's rosin on the bow. <laughs> There it is, and now how to clean it. So I have the acetone here, just move the violin right out of the way. And I have a takeaway food plastic container. You could use anything like that. And I'm going to fill it about a centimetre full. You take your bow, you unwind the frog, removing the screw, take the frog off the bow. Hold the bow in one hand, I'm just going to hold it down here, and the frog in the other and make a U shape with the hair so it's all quite loose. And then you're going to dip the hair into the acetone so it's really really well uh, down into the bottom of the container and really wet and then you're going to take it from side to side wetting the container. You may also notice I have actually salt and pepper hair on this bow, so I've got white hair and, and black hair, that's why it's looking a bit black. Don't dip it in all the way to the very end of the hair because it operates a bit like a candle wick and the liquid runs up the hair towards the end. So leave about a couple of inches. So I just go back and forward a few times and then simply take it out, shake it, even a little bit like that, the great thing about acetone is it's really highly volatile, which means it evaporates very quickly and dries, dries within a few minutes. So all I'm going to do now is put the hair, the frog back onto the bow, screw it up. I'm gonna make it a little tight. And just using my fingers, I'm going to just sort of separate the hairs and pull them apart. And what also that does is speeds up the drying the drying of the hair. If you wanted, you could also use a just a, a simple cotton cloth right now just to rub rub on the hair, just to dry it a little quicker. And it should be done. That's still a fraction wet. It's drying out now. That's dry to the touch. After, after that short little time, it's dry to the touch. And here's the result. Nothing left on the hair. So the hair is very clean now and you can replace it with your new rosin recipe and start again. But you don't have to do that method if you're just switching rosins on the bow. You can just simply wipe it off with a dry cloth and apply your new rosin over the top if you wish. But that is the most thorough way to do it.